How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the channel where some learning is always going down. Mac Destroyer here, and today's video is going to be on how to clean a graphics card. I'm going to be taking an old graphics card of mine, cleaning it up, and showing you guys how to make it run smooth again. So sit back and get your thermal paste ready, folks. It's time to start the show. So in the wonderful world of custom built PCs, we tend to throw a lot of cash at these things to get good quality parts to make a good quality build. So cleaning your PC regularly is going to be obviously a pretty good idea. Getting out the canned air to clean the glorious parts from that deadly dust. Now it's also good to clean the removable parts individually, at least for me anyways. I have OCD so I really like to clean everything inside the computer. Now for today's video, I'll be showing you the basics of how to clean a GPU. I'll take it apart, I'll clean everything very thoroughly, and then I'll put it back together. Um, quick disclaimer, taking your graphics card apart may void the warranty, so I would personally just use canned air to clean it until your warranty goes out and you can't do anything about it anyways. Uh, then go ahead and follow the next process. But if, you, uh, if you're if you still under warranty, just use canned air for now. That's perfectly fine. Proceed at your own discretion. That being said, it's really not a very hard process. So let's jump in and begin disassembling the card. Usually you're gonna start by removing the heat sink and fans using the screws on the back of the card. You're gonna notice four or more screws that are gonna be connected to the heat sink that you'll have to remove. Some cards may also have some retaining screws somewhere around the edge, on the side, or even on the other side where the fans are at. Be sure to inspect your card really well before jumping in and tearing it apart. Now this card here only has four screws to free the heatsink. Um, before actually removing the heatsink, make sure that you disconnect any cables that are plugged into the board itself, just so you don't damage any of them. Now after removing the heatsink from the PCB, I'll use rubbing alcohol and a few Q-tips to remove the existing thermal paste from the GPU itself. The large square that you see there on the PCB with the shiny square in the middle, that is the GPU. I make sure to really get in there and remove all the paste just for quality assurance. After the thermal paste is cleaned off of the GPU, I use a brush to get rid of the uh, dust on the other parts. Now you must be careful, you don't want to harm anything that's standing off of the board. Um, just lightly brush over it to get the dust and obviously some problematic areas you might need to go over more than once, but be careful with the parts that are standing off of the board. Now you can use canned air, but some dust can stick pretty well and may require a bit more help. So now that the board and the GPU are clean, I'll clean the heatsink. Grab the alcohol and Q-tips again to remove any of the old thermal paste from here as well. Now I have to remove the four screws that hold the plastic shroud to get to the fan and fins. I'll use my brush again here to remove the dust. I'll also remove the fan right from the heatsink so that way I can clean that more thoroughly as well. Now after everything is clean and the fan and shroud are back on the heatsink, we can apply new thermal paste. The method for this is different across the board. No pun intended. Some GPU manufacturers have different methods than others. Now, I personally happen to use the common sense method. I know, I know, it's not the most popular. Just make sure you have enough to cover the shiny portion of the GPU and don't go too crazy with it. Now we can gently place the heatsink back on top, hold it in place, and flip the card over to begin threading the screws. Use the cross corner method to ensure even pressure when tightening them. Be sure you've connected the fan power and congratulations! Your expensive hardware is now properly taken care of. It wasn't even all that hard or time consuming. Now, replacing the thermal paste is not always necessary. It's been a few years since this card has even been looked at, as you can clearly see while I was cleaning it, but um, it needed to be done here. And personally, I also just happen to like my hardware as clean as possible. That's gonna wrap it up here for today. Thank you for watching, I always appreciate it. Leave any questions, comments, concerns, or recommendations for future episodes down below. Hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike button if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you like learning new stuff. Thanks again for watching everybody, and until next time, in the words of the great Dr. Seuss, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened.